and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For some Grixis control, we didn't get to finish up the stream yesterday with Grixis control. We kind of ran out of time. Uh, some of our other decks took a while. Uh, we played one match off of, uh, not off stream, because we played it on stream, but not recorded for YouTube, uh, against Vampires, and we ended up winning that with our sideboard coming in pretty clutch with Legion's Ends and, of course, Cry of the Canarium there. So we're going to actually play it through um, ranked today. As you see here, all four decks that we're going to be playing today are going to be in ranked. We're having a, a rank up Sunday here on the stream. Uh, I'm going to be playing each deck for five matches. Our goal with the decks is to go three and two. Because winning, if, if you go three and two, win three out of five, that's winning 60% of your matches. And you can't can't complain about that winning you know you should take that every single time winning 60 percent. so hopefully we go three two with all of them um we're like in the middle of platinum right now because we've only played just a just a little bit of ranked last night with gruel midrange was the first that we played ranked since m20 so if we if we do go three two with three of the decks and we go four one with one of the decks i think then we rank up to diamond so that's kind of where we're standing there um but, you know, our deck is just regular old Grixis Control. Not not a whole lot to say about the deck. We've played Grixis Control, you know, a lot on the stream. And there's nothing, like, too fancy about this. Uh, same list that we played the very first day that M20 came out, except for one small change. We did... I was trying a, a Mu Yanling in the main at the time. And I took out that uh, three-mana Planeswalker for an extra copy of Negate. Uh, with all these Command the Dread Horde and Mass Manipulation decks, um, you know, ramping up to play um, some spells that are really tough to beat. I have another Negate to help out against those here in the deck. Um, so there we go. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. That's our schedule. Let's go ahead and get to it. So we're going to be playing five matches. With Grixis, so it's already there because of our match last night. And then five matches with three different Risen Reef decks. <laughs> oh, yeah, Moon Yandling is awesome and limited for sure. Yeah, you can just kind of sit back and get that ultimate on and everything. All right, so wondering what you would replace Rekindling Phoenix with in Gruel Midrange. Yeah, you don't want to use those because they are going to rotate soon. Um, another good one is Ripjaw Raptor, if you have those. That's another card that's rotating soon, though, but that's another four-mana creature. The kind of good part about Rekindling Phoenix is, you know, it's, it's good on defense and on offense, so you kind of want something there. Like, you know, so Ripjaw Raptor helps that, too. If you don't have those, um, could go with Sk Skargan Hellkites. Uh, that does kind of jumble up your five-mana slot, though the Hellkites do. Um, so it would be nice to have something that costs four. Um, the new the new Ceratops, you can play that card, yeah. I think that's worse than any of the other cards. But that's, that's one you could play. I don't think, with that build that I was playing, I don't think you would want... Uh, Null Hide Ferox. So Tonto Vanguard is a tough card for me to beat game one. On the left and right of the board, these are like little cats. Um, they're just pretty cool. Hey, thanks Storm. This looks to be like the mono white splash red deck, like mono white splash red for Frenzy. I have a lot of good stuff for Danta Vanguard in. Okay, no, it's just Feather. I was going to say I have a lot of good stuff for Danta Vanguard in the sideboard, but not in the main deck. Um, and I don't have anything for Feather really right now, besides that Ritual of Soot. 
Mind and body should move in unison. Like meditate and prepare. Hmm. Yeah, you could go with Neheb. Yeah. Basically, you know, just play play, you know, like a a good good big creature at 4 CMC there. My mind needs a rest. I should maybe go in with... Like, I wanted them to have to discard a card. But, like, maybe I should be going with Kefnet here. Because Kefnet doesn't die to... Um, Reckless Rage. Oh, you actually have the Phoenixes anyway? Oh, no. <laughs> All this time. Does Adam. There you go, yeah. Time planes what my intellect is without limit. Don't really imagine me winning this game here. Yeah, God's Willing is great. That's, that's a very, very good card. Yeah, I think Nexus is still a viable deck. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we need Elder Spell. Feather's a tough one. Feather's going to be a tough one to beat, for sure. So, Grafdigger's Cage does stop Dreadhorde Arcanist. It doesn't stop Feather. But it does stop Dreadhorde Arcanist. I'm not sure if that means I'm supposed to be playing it, though. I 
I think Big Chandra is going to be a little slow for me. Yeah, opponent's deck is called Boros Feather. It's probably wrong that I'm taking out these dispersals, to be honest. Ugh, it's not really a hand I, I like. Because dispersals, you know, gets around. Um, you need a blue kitty. Dispersal gets around protection spells. Yeah, yeah, my opponent's watching the stream. That's okay. Alright, so it's likely a pump spell to be able to grow that 10th District Legionnaire. I wish I could play Nicol Bolas and Negate. Um... Do I really need negate though? I'll go ahead and play this. Um, okay, so they wanted to get the cry out of my hand. I have a few openings for more minions. If you I will wipe your bloodline. Witness a moment. I honestly don't know why I blocked the the one one. I kind of blocked the one one because I was just. I was just expecting just the 1-1 one, one to attack, and then, you know, like, the Legionnaire also attacked. I wasn't really expecting that. <laughs> so, no, there's there's not any reason to, to not block the Legionnaire there.
So I should probably be playing Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, I'm going to do that over a Noxious Grasp. All right, going to game three. I wasn't really going to be winning with damage. I don't know if the attack mattered too much. Hmm. What has been overperforming for me in the new format? Like a deck or a card? I guess I could answer both of those. Um, I don't know about a specific deck. All right, blue worked last time. Because for the most, like, this Grixis deck is the first deck that we've actually played twice. Um, it's, you know, like every deck that we've had, we've, we've just played at the one time so far. Now, let's do this. This is going to be kind of tough to get through all these cards. This is a prime day for justice. Prepare for battle. They kept that last card on top. They liked it, whatever it was. All right, it was a 10th District Legionnaire. That's a that's a fitting end, you know, Legion's end for Legion for the Legionnaire. That's pretty fitting. I will lend you my strength. I'm gonna get rid of the feather because the feather could have like protection spells be really, really annoying. Oh, that Vanguard's a good one. Whoa, just minus six? What? Good triumphs this day. What? They could have just attacked. I am planning on Chandra Tribal tomorrow. I am Irvine. Again. Your defiance is fury. My schemes are never ending. Schemes to attend. I outsmarted you eons ago. That was a good draw. All right, want to know? Oh. 
you know, like my plan was just coil the war boss, of course, and you know, keep digging. But the crowd of the Carnarium was a great top deck for us. <laughs> yeah, Grixis doesn't win games immediately. It takes a little while. I have been playing against a lot of vampires uh, with the little bit of ranked that I've played. Uh, vampires has been the, the number one deck that I've played against. Which... Um, which I don't mind playing with this this deck playing against vampires. <laughs> All right, good. Land drop. So we need. What we got going on over here? Okay, cool. Green white tokens. All right, so I think it's Tristani. Yeah, the rest of the cards I'm not too worried about. I like Kefnet, but I want lands. Because, like, Tamik and History of Benalia, I can just Ritual of Sidaway. We need lands, though. So definitely glad I didn't keep the Kefnet. Yeah, I think Chandra Tribal has potential. It's it's probably the strongest Chandra Tribal deck. I need to go to blue. We, we had some good luck with the blue, kitty. The strongest Chandra Tribal deck is probably not just one color. It probably needs another color to shore up weaknesses that red has. And it with having 12 duels in... Uh, red and white. Sorry. Yeah, red and white or blue and white. There we go. With having 12 duels in those different colors, it's probably pretty easy to... Um, to make a two-color deck. I'm just not really sure which one I want to go towards. Uh, blue gives you counter magic in the Chandra Tribal deck, where white would give you better removal... I'm not sure exactly which way to go. I will teach you humility if I, I shall always. I don't really like this minus two from our opponent because that just means the Ajani dies to the attack. Hmm. Being a little, a little laggy here. A familiar taste, but one that grows no sweeter. I guess they were just playing that. If I had a ritual set, they were conceding, kind of thing. So this is definitely good against tokens. So let's play this one. So is Cry the Carnarium. Not sure if we really need Noxious Grasp. You know, can take out a Johnny's or Tristani's. A Johnny's, Tristani's. I guess it's just better than Bedevil. It's like, why would we not play it? Swift ordering change. We do have a good amount of sweeping effects. Cry, Ritual, Chandra, Legion's End, kinda. 
I'm playing a bunch of negates here, as you can see. I do like negates um, in this matchup for March of the Multitudes. Uh, a lot of their their big stuff, uh, even Conclave Tribunal. A lot of their big things are um, our spells. It's basically Tristania is like the only creature. Uh, Venerate Luxodon, sorry, that's another really good creature. Uh, we're gonna mulligan this maybe on the play. I don't want to keep like where I'm just like thought erasing on turn three and like not having a sweeper or anything. Hmm. Well, let's give this a try. Yeah, yeah, the disfigure is like just a land war off killer. It's just a, a card that lets us double spell pretty easily. There's just so many mana creature decks and aggro decks. Uh, disfigure does a good amount. And yeah, like I was saying, it, it lets us double spell early. It lets us, like, on turn two be able to play a disfigure plus... Um, play a, a shock land and tapped. You know, it's it's good with like our, our mana base and everything. Um, yeah. Hey, Joe Bags. Good afternoon. Where are some lands? Can I have some of those lands? Good call there, Don V. That yeah, Tristani also makes soldiers. Wow. We're just not gonna ever draw land, I suppose. Thought Ragers are like the worst things to be drawing, of course. Because it's never going to get anything. All right, so they are playing Vanguard. Uh, I wasn't sure they would be. So I think I took out the Disfigure. I'm going to put that back in over, like, a Lava Coil. Even though Coils take out the Elephants and everything. Why is this so laggy today? Is it 1080 or is it... Okay, yeah, it's just 1080. I'll take out the Bedevil.
Let's get the Chandra in here. They can recast Cry or Legion's End. Let's do that. Yeah, I have a Vampire's deck. There's, there's a Vampire deck on the Stream Decker uh, from a few days ago. Uh, it felt it felt really good. <laughs> well, as long as they don't have a Danto Vanguard. By playing the other Steam Vents here, you know, we do get our other Shockland in, but then we don't get to play Cry of the Carnarium if we draw it this next turn. Ugh, they had the one card I didn't want to see. <laughs> of course they did. Uh, of course they did. Alright, well, we have a lot of answers. You know, Disfigure, Legion's End, Cry of the Carnarium... Hopefully we draw one of those. Chandra is not an answer. Yeah, raise the alarm's pretty nice, you know, being able to play around Ritual of Sith with it. Thankfully, it was not <laughs> no light Ferox. That would have been bad. Honor and courage. We need the blue kitty. Blue if kitty's I gonna get us cry of the carnarium. Away, cry will. of the carnarium. I mean, I, I kept a hand that lost to Adanto Vanguard, and our opponent had turn two Vanguard. I will return. Not much for me to cl complain a boot. I don't have three black sources, so I can't really thought erasure plus ritual next I turn. Well, I don't. I don't get no, the next turn. I must. That's five. I really shouldn't be keeping that hand. I was just—I was really influenced by the game two, where I just didn't have any lands and couldn't play any any spells, and it's really influenced by that. But keeping that hand, but I really shouldn't be keeping that hand either. Hey, Dark Soul, it's going good. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Carmo rocks. All 
All right, we need more lands. Narset does not grab land, so we need to just... We need to be able to find lands. I like the Azkanta here. That that helps you find lands. But we did just put three Nickel Boluses to the bottom, so that's that's a bummer. Hmm. I guess second player should be minusing this Narset first. Put thoughtfulness before action. If I ditch this Nicol Bolas, man, they could have like a lot of zombies. I'm gonna need to like ritual of soot a couple of times. The problem is I'm gonna want like both of these cards later on the game, but I don't want either one of them now. But I'm gonna want them later later on. I hope this this dragon god doesn't die. I'm gonna keep the extra ritual of soot and hope we find a. A land in our next two cards. I guess it has to, specifically has to be a black source. We put a bunch of spells to the bottom with an R set. I don't think, yeah, they go random order. You don't get to see them, but we didn't really put very many lands down to the bottom. Again. So yeah, this Field of Dead is going to be sp spitting out a whole bunch of 2-2s. Two <laughs> Assuming no this is a Scapeshift deck. I, I think that's... Exploit. I don't think there's any Field of Dead decks that are not Scapeshift decks. That's, of course, Sorcery Speed, and which is good. Hopefully they don't get to do that Instant Speed at all. Um, I'm not sure if I have a favorite deck to play right now. I, I there's a lot of decks I like. Um, Phil, there's I don't know if there's one that's a, specifically one that's a favorite. Um, the Chandra Tribal deck we played like four days ago was awesome. I really liked that. Um, these decks that we're playing today, though, I, I like all of these decks. You know, we're playing them all in ranked here. Um, It'll be my first time really trying out Bantark Bow in this format. And I put the Teamer Elementals deck together a little while ago. Kind of based on... Oh, Guild Summit? Guild Summit's going to be... That Guild Summit's like impossible for me to beat. Wow, Guild Summit's a real, real problem. And... Uh, yeah, Guild Summit. That's a problem. Basically, the Teamer Elementals deck is based around the different... That's That was the word I was trying to, trying to say. It's based around the, the different Elemental decks we have played. Some stuff that I liked from them, stuff I didn't like. Took them out and kind of remade a, a new Elemental deck that I'm look, looking forward to playing. Oh, Narset. Wow. Yeah, Narset's great. Whew. Thank you, Narset. Good call there. Yeah. I was all worried about how we're going to beat all those cards they were going to draw. I guess I need to sit first, because otherwise they could just sack a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, good thing we have the Narset. Teams have been foiled. Let your weak minds crumble. I am not Eddie.
mean, I kind of want to keep the land. So we'll see if they exile and put Scapeshift back on top. I don't know how many more lands they like really have in their deck. But even if they put Scapeshift back on top, the Chandra is another sweeper. So even if they they try their field of dreams thing again. That's the name of the card, right? Field of Dreams. Risen Reef is really, really strong. The the other three decks that we're playing today are all are all Risen Reef decks. My intellect is without limit. If I would have kept the land on top, I wasn't flipping as Kanta, though, so it's not like I wasn't going to have, um, I, was, I wasn't going to be able to play Chandra and the Angrass Rampage. Like, I wouldn't have had both the land and the flipped as Kanta. Be pretty close to being out of lands. Three, six, seven, eight. Let's gotta see how many lands they got over here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's 24 lands so far. Cool. who I am and no one is telling me what to do I've always wanted to make a really big fireball don't think I need to do emblem I think I just want to draw and have them exile again oh was there was there one land in exile also right there was because they exiled that so yeah so it's 25 of their lands Ugh. All right, well, Legion's End. Cry the Carnarium. <laughs> Maybe I should need to be main decking those cards. This doesn't do anything against any of the cards they just played. And I don't think it will... I don't think this is going to do anything against any of the cards in their deck. Um, yeah, definitely want baby Chandra here, because Chandra gets to recast, cry, lead, Legion's End. The biggest card that I'm worried about is, is the Guild Summit. That's the card that I'm really worried about.
Yeah, Tiny Chandra's minus two is really nice. Island. All right, question. If I use a protection from any color spell... On a dual-colored spell or Planeswalker, does it matter which of the two colors I should pick? Nope. Doesn't matter. You can choose either one. Because that, that spell is both of those colors. That was a good card. That was the first time I cast a Thought Erasure and that happened. That's a good card. Risen Reef is pretty awesome. I don't really want to just use... I don't think I really want to use a Cry of the Canarium just on the Risen Reef, though. But I could definitely come to regret that. Nickel Bolus is kind of just too good. Got to keep another one just in case something happens to this one. I will return one day. You know, drawing an, a second card every turn plus ending. making them exile one of their uh, one of their cards. Just a, so so good. Hey, what's up, boot? We're having good. Uh, there we go. Having a good time here on this Sunday, playing a bunch of ranked today. Yay, no counter spell. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I have other plans. I outsmarted you eons ago. Hopefully there's no more of these French fries. That's fine. Does thin their deck pretty good. Taco Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, our deck set up pretty well to fight our opponent's deck, I would say. Just a whole bunch of 2 twos. It's just, do I cry or do I ritual of soot? Which one do we cast? I guess it will kind of determine, you know, what card we draw here will kind of determine it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that. Doesn't flip our Escanta, but that's fine. Let's see what you got going on over here. Another one? Cool. We don't really need that extra mana. And of course, I... Of course, we gotta we gotta do the sweeper first before we make them exile because we want we don't want them just to exile a creature. Hey, Lexus Bros, happy Sunday! My will be awesome, glad you're enjoying the Gruel mid range deck from yesterday. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. Q 
Cavalier of Thorns. Golos, that card's cool. Yep, Golos is cool. My schemes have been foiled. Let your weak minds crumble. I don't know what I would really do with the Azcanta there. Alright, cool. There we go. All right, we're two and one. And I feel pretty bad for the match that we lost with the hand that I kept. Game three. Should have mulliganed it. All right, two more matches with Grixis here. Hey, what's up, Dazed and Amuse? Six one nine, what's up? Ugh. Yeah, that was not a very difficult game. Yeah, I would, I wouldn't mind all of our games being just like that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that storm. Hey, Taylor Dur Durden. Yeah, the Chandra Tribal deck is pretty good. We're going to be... We'll be playing that some more tomorrow. Um, you know, kind of exploring, seeing if we need to go to a second color with the deck also. Um, Ascanta's really good. No discard spells. We do not want our opponent to get a discard spell. Please, no discard spell. No discard. Pass turn. All right, good. Two more turns and no discard. We want this Chandra. You know, can't be countered. Learned that yesterday. Chandra can't be countered. So as long as they don't discard it, we'll give them an emblem. I'm kind of... For those of y'all that are newer to the channel, I'm in the Always Reveal camp. I like revealing all the cards off Kefnet. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Keep an it doesn't necessarily do anything good for you, but it's it's fun to do. You don't get to always reveal your cards all the time. You know, like, yeah, so how often do you actually get to reveal cards off of Kefnet? Or, you know, just reveal your draw steps in general. Sorry, that's what I mean. Just like, you know, if you you draw cards, do you get to reveal them? No, you you put them in your hand. So it's fun to do something different. To meet my flames. Let's get toasty. One point of damage. More emblems. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's more beneficial for your to not show that you have an elder spell in hand. It's definitely better to do that. Or not really I'm not gaining, you know, I'm I'm only losing percentage points here by showing that I have an elder spell in hand, but Oh well, that's fun. <laughs> no pressure. Go, Chandra, go. Alright, so they'll be taking three damage every upkeep now. Boo. I know my responsibility. You need to slow down. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Alright, so we know we know our next two draw steps, so we'll have Kefnet, and then we'll reveal the Chandra that we draw. Can they kill us before these Chandra emblems get them? Oh, sorry, I'm late. I think I think four is the most emblems I've ever given. Maybe five. I remember I remember I've done four emblems, but they were like a they're like a combination of Chandra and Nicol Bolas uh, giving those emblems. I think that's the most I've done is four. No, I've done five. No, yeah, we, we did five before. Yeah, no, we certainly, yeah, we've done five before. I remember like a, a time when they're, they're at 11 and put them to five and then they conceded because we're going to put them to six the next turn. You've done eight? Oh, wow, that's so many. All right, so the question is, do I Chandra minus six kill Teferi, which also kills Chandra, or give him more emblems? And I guess, I guess we didn't even get to make that decision, unfortunately. Okay. So we're going to have Disfigure come on out. They should be a, a hero of precinct one deck. By since they're playing like that that flyer, they should be playing hero of precinct one. So I, I, I don't want to get rid of like all my sweepers. So I'm going to play a couple of Uh This is sixty two here. Always more emblems. So this is 62. Yeah, Shekel. That sounds cool. Are you here in Roanoke? Down, down, down. Let's see. All right, I'm going to get the Noctis Grassman here, actually. And I'm going to take out the Discoveries because... If they have Narset, we don't get to really Discovery too well. The Noxious Scraps, though, can take out, like, either the Teferis or Basilica Bell Haunt or Hero Precinct 1 or, you know, basically everything but Narset or Liliana if they got those cards. PA, that's a little ways away. Not too far, though. Yeah, Shadow Tribal may be my favorite deck. 
Out of the decks that we're playing today, the deck that I think is probably the strongest, and the deck that I think is probably the strongest that, that I've played so far is the Sultai Cavaliers, if I had to pick one. I'm probably going to need that land. Right on schedule. This might be a bad idea. Anyone need a fire started? No. Oh, they're so cute. Get him, elementals. It's only a matter of time. Get him. Let's slow this down. Don't worry, I got this. Go get him, buddies. It's definitely considering minus two thought erasure. We will meet again. But I'm gonna wait a turn for that. I know my responsibility. I've got time. I mean, it kind of just makes sense just to zero to kill these things, though. Hey, these little guys are great. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Time to sleep for a week. Thought Razor would have uh would have gotten rid of one of these lands that we were drawing. Hmm. That Ascanto is really, really unfortunate. Azur, welcome back. Thanks for that resub. Getting the hype started today. Kicking off there with our first sub of the day. Thank you so much, Azur. We're not, not really beating Escanta here. We'd love to draw our own Ascanta, of course. We got two of those in here. Hey, what's up, Dex? Thanks for that sub there. Our second sub of the day. Schemes to attend to. Your defiance is infuriate. <laughs> you have no weakness. I cannot. I don't. Escape. I don't have like any way to deal with the Escanta really. Um, you know, I, I don't have Field of Ruin or Star of Extinction or Sorcerer Spyglass or anything. The focus. I have just the trick for this. Will 
resonate throughout the multiverse. I will return. Everything is power. Gross. And I am everything. Every exploit ripples through time. Be mindful. All right. Let's definitely get this other negate in here. Didn't really seem like my opponent's playing Hero Precinct 1 with all the stuff we saw. So I'm gonna actually cut the Cry of the Carnariums. Yeah, I have been every single season, Sea Wookiees. It has a um, pushing to be as high as I can be on Mythic has never been anything that I've focused on for a goal. But I have been Mythic every season. I think my highest I was at was say hi to my fiery friends. I think nineteen. Unfortunate. Not happy right now. Could have waited another turn and been able to go Chandra minus two duress, but the problem with that is they have the Othakai that kills the Chandra if I do that immediately. And um And just you know, waiting another waiting more turns when we know they're just playing so many discard spells isn't really what I wanted to do. Also. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if if I mean I, I play enough magic. If if my only goal was to be number hit number one mythic, yeah, I, I could hit that. But that's that would uh, really. Uh, Ascanta again. That's yeah, like that means that I wouldn't be playing all sorts of decks all the time. Uh, first stream and everything, and I, I don't think that that would be as good of a, a product uh, for streaming. So, I'd be fo more focused on like one deck or maybe two decks and playing those all the time. And um, what I'm doing with, with streaming is playing just a whole bunch of different decks. So, you know, everybody can kind of find something they like, play different things at FNM and all that kind of stuff. There's already a lot of other very good streamers that that do that, that that try to get to number one mythic and play the same decks over and over. And I really should not be negating this. I should probably just let that resolve, bedevil it next turn, and then have negate still. All right, I'm gonna need to like reset arena. It's been really bad today. Like this is really, really choppy. It has been storming. Like it was stormed a lot yesterday. Been storming right today. Also. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, it's raining a lot here where I'm at. So I'm I'm wondering if that has to do with why it's so choppy here.
I really should not have countered that Teferi. Should have bedeviled it and still had negate. Hey, what's up, Quento? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Hardly my worst defeat. I appreciate that. Yeah, I played a couple of matches before stream, and Arena, you know, Arena was not lagging then, so I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, they and they have a lot better options of dealing with Escanta than what I do. I, I'm just, I'm just really dead, um, because like Escanta just, Escanta just buries you, and my opponent has. has like the Ugin to take out take it out they even just save the veto for it anyway I don't have an Ugin to take it out them having the discard after my turn five their turn five they had discard take my Chandra right before I played it on turn six that was pretty key but I mean now we're dead to Escanta They drew very well those games. Those games two and three. A lot of draw steps that were very good. Better than mine, so GG's. There are some people that think that Grixis is, is favored against Esper, and I, I don't think so. Like I I think Esper is favored against Grixis. Esper just has everything. Um, yeah, we could play Ugins in this deck, absolutely. Uh, I, I replaced the Ugins with the new Chandra. Not a lot of Esper people are on like the Ascanta plan, which is something that that helps Grixis, or like helps like the deck that I'm playing. You don't see that too often where they're playing multiple Ascantas that we saw there. In general, blue-black, the reason why people think the Grixis is favored in in that control mirror is because the blue-black uh, control decks are favored against other blue-based control decks, like blue-white, blue-red. Just kind of in, like, generically speaking in Magic's history, because you have access to not, not only counter magic, what all the blue decks have, but then you also have discard. And so having discard and counter magic is, is a real big plus. So while, while Grixis does have that counter magic and discard, so does Esper. Esper is playing a lot of those things as well. <laughs> yeah, I could I could get a new desktop wall wallpaper. <laughs> Never. Never change that. All right, good draw. We needed a third black source for the Dragon God. I have not played Soren with Angelic Exaltation. No, I haven't. I haven't played any Angelic Exaltation deck. All right, well, send me. Yeah, send me a wallpaper that you think I should have on my stream. You know, on my desktop here. You can send it to me on on Discord if you'd like. I will return. It's for anybody if you'd like to send me something that you think that I should have on my wallpaper. Insolent fool. I will wipe your bloodline. I'll 
outsmarted you eons ago. All right, Dragon God should be able to finish this out. You and I are going to take him out. I am out of this figure is pretty good there. You know, letting us triple spell. I will return. My intellect is without limit. This card's so mean. Again. <laughs> Get ahead, you just take all of their things. It's so mean. Alright, and this is the deck that we have these cages for because of Frenzy. Hold on, let me explain. Yeah, Legion's End, Cry the Carnarium. All right, 67 here. Narset gone, one search gone, 64. Discovery, Thought Erasure. Chandra. Yeah, let's just get rid of the Chandras. One Discovery, one Thought Erasure. All right, here we go. Yeah, cages are, that's the reason why they're in the sideboard. They stop Experimental Frenzy. And Experimental Frenzy is the card that I, that I basically always lose to with the red deck that I'm always really worried about. So if Cage can help, um, Help move the needle on this matchup. I think that's a big get for for Grixis control. Got any more steamkins over there? Nah, no more steamkins. All burn spells. Legion's end has been just awesome. For us, yeah, because the so yeah, gravestone stops command the dread horde. Graft digger's cage stops experimental frenzy, and the reason why I have the the card in the deck is to stop experimental frenzy. Yeah, getting the info from Legion's End is awesome. It was a great, great play from the opponent. Get that frenzy down while I, I couldn't negate it. All right, we've got to find Cage. I'll just cast that because I'm going to be casting Nicol Bolas next turn. Hmm. Guess I could do this. This, they just get to exile cards from their hand, but it this helps us find Cage faster. Let's do this, because then I'll have Ritual of Soot for next turn. Because, yeah, I want to Soot before I play God Eternals. I have other schemes to attend my okay, well, they should just be exiling cards from their hand that they can't cast. Do 
do not defy me. Conceivable. So that's unfortunate that our dragon god got killed there. Okay, so yeah, you want to replace a black and a green cavalier in that deck. Um, I would play a paradise druid and like another... Some other... Then some other kind of bigger card advantage thing, like a, another Tamiyo, um, a, a Yurok. Another, yeah, like another Yurok, a Tamiyo, um, something like that. So y'all can y'all can see like what Frenzy does in this matchup. Because even if they, like, if they decide to ever blow up Frenzy, they have six cards in hand still, you know? So, like, you know, even if I find a cage for Frenzy, they still have a whole bunch of cards. Okay, yeah, they're actually just blowing it up. So, presumably, they have another Frenzy in hand, but they want to be able to play all these burn spells. No, no, we're not going to mulligan to a, a cage. No. There's only two cages in the deck. It's not like it's not like mulliganing to a cage is going to be successful all the time either. Why do you want to use all the black sources all the time? Auto tap. Well, that was a disaster. That was good. I got rid of four creatures. Not bad. Just getting rid of the Lava Runner right away because of Wizard's Lightning. I would have been killing the Firebrand uh, to make it so they couldn't just have one burn spell kill my 4-4, but they have another Firebrand in the chamber. We're definitely not winning this. We have a good chance for, for game three. We got a good good chance game three. I mean, I'll just play it out. I'll show y'all. We always have people that are upset that if I concede the game too early, but I mean, this game's over. I'm the best fire starter there is. My one life gain card I already used. No I'm not, not gaining any life. And we're not killing our opponent before they deal four more damage to us with this lightning strike showing.
They are down to 12 cards. If only we could mill them out. Stop tapping two black sources all the time. I mean, I need Cry the Carnarium as my the only card that would, would work there. Didn't find it. Our opponent played just early game Frenzy. You know, they played turn four Frenzy. Just beating Frenzy is so, so tough. Um, let's drum a couple of these bedevils. Get another. Th get another Thought Erasure in the on here, or get another as Kanta. All right, let's try this. All right, good looking hands. So, steam vents. Don't need the second. Well, so second blue. I could get rid of Swamp. Second blue casts uh, our Kefnet. Second red doesn't really do a whole lot. I want to get rid of the Steam Vens. I don't want to have the two Shock Lands. I have good, I have other good ways to get rid of Chandra. All right, we kept three black sources. Good for the Dragon God. Let's draw some lands. Yeah, play and cast are the same thing. Frenzy still can play lands with cage in play. So you're you can still get you can still put lands into play. Stupid rampage. Guess I should have had Bedevil over Rampage. Could have bedeviled Warboss here. Just how I yeah, this is how I like to present myself in public here. Two, four, five. It could certainly be that keeping that land ends up being a mistake. Oh, 
soul of the multiverse will bend to my will. My schemes have been foiled. Let your weak mind Yep, we had a li an another land on top, keeping that land. Did not pay off. Gosh. Alright, so the big thing that really, really hurt me this game was when I cast Cry of the Canarium. They had the Legion War boss right afterwards. That and, you know, just drawing all these lands. Uh, let's just see what, what my other card would have been if I would have gotten rid of that land. We'll see what we would have gotten, but, you know, we're dead here. So we would have had, just had a oil, just like one Lava Coil here. Let's flood it out. We wanted, like, the fifth land for the Bolas, but we didn't want the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, or the other Nicol Bolas. So our next four cards were all just dead cards after casting that Discovery. Yeah, I could, I could wait to play Frenzy until they played, or play Cage until they played Frenzy. I don't know if it's that important. I mean, I it does. I guess by you know I didn't have anything else to do on that turn two. By by playing the cage, it does make it so they discarded the frenzy to the nickel bolus. So like maybe they don't discard frenzy and maybe they spend a turn casting frenzy uh, that could have you know helped me turn the corner. So yeah, I hadn't. You know, like, especially with having, like, the Ravager where they choose to discard a card. Um, yeah, absolutely. Waiting on Cage was probably going to be a better a better option for me. Um, there. All right, so we went two and three. Lost a couple of close ones to Esper, then Red after winning game one both times and then losing some sideboard games, which is unfortunate. That's kind of how it is. Um, with Grixis is the kind of deck that is is pretty strong and has like a just a lot of good cards and you know if your cards line up your deck looks very good but there's other times where they your cards don't line up or your opponents have really really strong starts or uh, they top deck better than you because this this deck does kind of get get both players in top deck mode pretty early with using like thought erasures and removal spells um so if you don't have like the the ways that you're really pulling ahead or if your opponent's top deck better than you like you're gonna gonna be losing and stuff like that i think grixis control got worse with the london mulligan rule change also i think that change does help aggressive strategies more than control strategies just in general uh, i think grixis is the kind of deck that that really capitalized whenever other decks stumbled and there's just slightly less stumbling happening now with the London Mulligan ch change. Um, but there we go. Uh, I was really impressed with Legion's end. Cry of the Carnarium was another card that felt very good in this metagame. A lot of people are playing low to the ground stuff. The Angrass Rampage wasn't very impressive. Neither necessarily was Discovery. Because that's the thing. Whenever whenever everybody's curving out more, which is kind of what's happening with London Mulligan Rule, you don't need a card like Discovery as much. You don't really need the, the velocity uh, to kind of fix your draw steps and everything. Because you should just be um, hopefully curving out more. So potentially maybe we should just get rid of discoveries and just have more two and three mana interaction, stuff like Legion's End, Cry of the Carnarium. Which would give us, if we did that, if we get rid of discovery, have an extra Cry in the main deck, have a Legion's End in the main deck. I don't know if we're supposed to have Legion's End in the main deck to be honest. 
but it did feel pretty good all the time. Why does that say 58? We should have... What was the other card that it got rid of? Um, oh, it got rid of a Bedevil. I'm supposed to have three Bedevils. Okay. That gives us room for maybe yet like one more Legion's End in the sideboard, and then... Uh, I need one more card in the main deck and one more card in the sideboard, probably for Esper. But what those cards are is unclear, or should be. But, yeah, one more card in main deck and sideboard for, like, Esper matchups. I think, I think I'd want a three. Actually, I want a three-mana Chandra in the main deck. Especially with putting the Cry, the Legions, and more more good targets to minus two. And Chandra, as, as we saw in those Esper matchups, it's very good at picking off Teferi. The other card may be another Duress. Or it could be an Ugin. Could play a Fry. Yeah. As we saw there, though, we really lost to Escanta both times that we played against the Esper deck. Ugin, Ugin does kill Escanta, but it's very expensive. And I don't know if we want more six mana cards, but maybe we do. I think that's what I'd try. I think I'll try another duress here and get the Chandra in the main. Yeah, I, I this is this is what I'll try the next time we play Grixis. Um, yeah, yeah, I like this. Could have a spyglass in the sideboard. That's not the worst thing. Spyglass does stop Escanta. Until a Teferi tucks it, but it does for a little bit. We could play a Field of Ruin. Yes. Could play a Star of Extinction. I've, I've liked that card in the sideboard before. For that matchup. Like, destroys all their Teferis and Escanta and everything. I think I, I think I want just another duress though, and this other Chandra. Uh, yeah, I like what's going on there. Okay, um, so that's Grixis control. Um, all right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's Grixis Control. Uh, we'll have three more ranked decks up next. So if you're watching on YouTube, hope you switch on over there, and I'll see you for another video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.